Welcome back to the Morning Blend. In the heart of the Las, of Las Vegas, rather, to the Arts District, lies an intimate venue that delivers oh. the most exciting current productions. And they have quite the legacy here in Vegas as well. Uh, quite a name, too. Uh, yes, the development director of the Cockroach Theater Company, Mindy Woodward, is here to join us about their new play called Here that opens tomorrow night. Yes. Well, happy on the eve of opening. Thank you. <laughs> how, how have rehearsals been going this week? Oh, rehearsals are great. The show's ready to go. It's it's. A a fantastic comedy it's raucous it's ridiculous it's it's a blast uh, let's let's talk about before we get into the production yeah the, the history of this theater the cockroach uh, theater quite a legacy yeah we've been producing theater uh, in Las Vegas for 14 years wow. the cockroach mm. theater company um, and we have been in our space that we're in right now at uh, West Charleston and First Street yeah. and the revitalized downtown so, I mean, in 14 years a lot of change right? yeah well we've goodness. only been there since 2012 um, but, but even in that to, amount of time yeah, cool. yeah right absolutely it's been um, just transforming around us and there's a building right across the street that's about to have four new restaurants in it awesome and uh, thanks wow. to Land Rover Las Vegas, oh. we're producing our fifth full season of shows in that space. That's fantastic. No kidding. Mm -hmm. Cool. Tell us about the script here. Why did you guys choose it? Well, here it's a, it's a fantastic play that has very serious themes but set in a comedy structure that's just amazing. So mm. we are very audience-centric at the Cockroach Theater. We like to meet our audience where they are and talk about themes that are relevant to the community that we're in. So um, the play here, H-I-R, <laughs> has uh, <laughs> deals with um, themes of LGBTQ rights and um, it's about a military a veteran who's just come home from the war and he finds that his house is completely different from the way that he left it. His dad used to run the house with a really strong fist and he's a low functioning stroke victim. His mom used to be meek and oppressed and she's now righteously liberal and trying to strong arm the family into uh, away from the patriarchal family structure. Sounds like a comedy. And his little <laughs> sister, his little sister is a transgender, now his transgender Whoa. sibling. Yeah, so. It's like, welcome back home from war. Try, right. We, we were the tease. We've been airing teases for the show today, and we were talking about it. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. we got the war, transgender, and comedy. <laughs> right? This is unbelievable, this story. It is. It's unbelievable <laughs> because it's all these serious themes, and yet you won't stop laughing for two hours. Wow. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Very, very cool. Uh, what's it like taking on a challenge like this? Oh, my gosh. We do it about every six weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so it's mm. exciting and exhilarating. We're kind of adrenaline junkies to get these fully realized productions up every six weeks. We do about five shows a season, and yeah. so our season um, runs the fall through spring. Yeah. And, uh, and it's amazing. We really get to connect to the community and talk about really important things and have an intimate connection with everybody who comes to our theater. It is an intimate space and um, grow and shift people's paradigms on how they see themselves and their life and other members of the community. That's so. the beauty of the arts and the beauty it of the is. Yeah. Certainly. And you mentioned the theater company. Tell us yeah. a little bit. I, I read your bio. Mm -hmm. You have a fascinating background <laughs> and you have some very interesting people in the company. Yes. Tell us about yourself and, and some of your fellow actors. Um, well, I have a master's from Harvard in the Moscow Art Theater. I'm wow. an actor and director. and That's and the real deal. <laughs> It is. Did you, did you hang around Harvard Square? I did. Did you go to the, the out-of-town news and read a bunch of uh, newspapers or anything? I didn't have a lot of time to yeah. uh, read much of anything <laughs> other than plays, but yeah, yeah I was there. David Mamet. Yes, <laughs> yeah. right. Yeah. We can't say any of his lines on camera because nope. they're all. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and I actually moved here from Morocco because I was in the Peace Corps right before <gasps> coming to Las Vegas. Isn't that cool? <laughs> Do they, do they have That's a direct amazing. flight from Morocco? You have a no, okay, no, flights. you have yeah. to like go through Qatar and New <laughs> of York. Of course, and, yes. Wow. <laughs> um, and then um, the guys who founded the company, Will Adamson and Levi Fackerel, are um, graduates of UNLV, and they 
really wanted to change the artistic landscape of Las Vegas. So um, they've been doing it for 14 years now, and they're just incredible, incredible guys. And um, our other lead of the company is actually a business lawyer by day. And, oh, you uh, need one of those <laughs> in the company. <laughs> and a producer Perfect. Right? And the director of this production is actually a blue man. And um, Yes. Yes. We the blue men are everywhere. I, I love they it. Are. They're always doing stuff. <laughs> and, and, and I will say, their, their goal of bringing arts to the community and, mm -hmm. and, and making it more important to Las Vegas. I mean, I moved here in 2006, yeah. and I've seen the metamorphosis yeah. of Las Vegas, and it really yeah. has taken a stronghold here, and yeah. it's awesome. Yeah, yeah. I mean, cool. so many industries are growing. Yeah. And what I really appreciate, like Land Rover Las Vegas has sponsored us. Mm -hmm. And so as the different industries are growing, um, reinvesting into the life and the quality of life for the citizens of Las Vegas and growing the arts community is so important and so appreciated. It's Maybe. great to meet you. Absolutely. Oh, great to meet you guys. Yeah, really a pleasure. Thank you right. so much. Here opens tomorrow night, and it runs through February 5th. It's not here, though. It's at Cockroach Theater Company. The show is at 8 p.m. It is here, but it's not, you know, <laughs> Thursdays or Saturdays, 2 p.m. on Sundays. Tickets are just $20, <laughs> $16 for students, seniors, and military. You can purchase them on the website, on your screen, or by calling the number, also on said screen.